Hi, this is Kathy. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. Wanted to show you how easy it is to create watercolor backgrounds on different surfaces using our chalk paste. Actually a very low-key, relaxing project. No real stress involved. And you could put as much or as little time towards it as you're feeling up to. But I know how sometimes when the creativity strikes, it's easy to get, get involved and the time just flies by. I have a few things out here. Um, I have some little canvas panels. These are just five by seven. And oh, a couple little containers to put my chalk paste in. brushes from my stash. I obviously don't need all of these. I hope you've had a great start to the weekend. My Saturday has been pretty good all in all. Don't be shy. Drop a line. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm coming at you from the suburbs um, west of Chicago. And um, like I said, very simple, very quick, um, easy little thing. I'm going to watercolor this canvas panel using my chalk paste. And it's very simple to do and very, very quick. And obviously you could do this on any size canvas panel you wanted. It doesn't have to be a canvas panel. It could actually be a stapled canvas in a, you know, with a wooden frame. That's fine. And I'm going to use a yellow... Um, papaya and um, couture coral and kind of blend them together a little bit but before I actually start painting this I need to put a little dab of chalk paste in each of my containers and by oops I just spilled it right on my surface and by a little dab I mean a little dab. Let me come over here and scoop up what I got on my surface. Just a teeny little dab. Let's see. And it's the coral. Oops. Then I'm going to cover these up. I've had them sit now for a bit, getting ready. And I just want to cover them up so they don't dry out. If you have any questions, um, just comment below and I'll get back to you. If I don't see your question as I'm working on this, I'll reply later, but hopefully I'll see it. Cleanup is real easy with our chalk paste. Pretty much water and a paper towel take care of just about most things. Um, I have a little bottle of distilled water here. I like to use distilled water with my chalk paste so that it doesn't impact the pigmentation of the paste. This shouldn't even be out here. Ah, that's paint for a totally unrelated project. So I'm going to spritz a little bit. Look at this. I hit my panel. Spritz a little bit of distilled water into my little containers and then basically dilute it. Stir it around a little bit. Obviously, the more water, the lighter the color is going to be. Or the more translucent, if that makes sense. 
Ah, just be careful you don't splash yourself like I just did with this. Then I'm using little plastic stir sticks because the plastic um, doesn't dry out the chalk paste. Wood or popsicle sticks would dry out the chalk paste because it would suck up the moisture. And I'm going to start out with my yellow. And let's see. Grab this little brush. I want more of a kind of a dreamy, watery effect. So I'm going to give my panel a little spritz, a very fine spray of water. And then I'm just going to go over it with my diluted chalk paste. Oops, and I've got a little clumpy there of paste, but it's dissolving as I go across. That's fine. Let me clean my brush. Just rinse it in water, drying it. Now, coral, guava. Okay, I want to do the guava next. done a little bit too much water there but that's okay I think and I was going to do, do three stripes here I might do I might come back with the yellow I don't know see what it looks like and then my couture coral here is the darkest I want to blend them a little bit. I want to come back with a little bit more guava up here. And then a little bit more of the yellow and get it to blend a little bit more. Rinse that and come back with the yellow. What do you think? Simple? Obviously, right? Child's play could be just your kids watercoloring surfaces for you. What do you think about that idea? Be amazed at how creative children could be. Okay, I do have a little bit too much um, water on here. I spritzed a little bit. I really do not want to tip it because I don't want it to run. And I don't want to end up with drips. So I am going to just let this set aside. Wait a second. I got need to get this little brush that across there of the guava. I hit a little pooling of color. And the same on my bottom here. Let me get rid of that. Smooth it out a little bit. And then just set this aside to dry. One surface done. Quick, right? Easy, right? And then I have Sea Fan Foam Cool Breeze and Couture Teal that I wanted to try something a little bit different with. Sea Foam. My Sea Foam stick was sitting over here on the table. So I'm going to add a little bit. Now I'm going to go for a little bit darker with this. I'm not going to make it so watery. So a little bit more Sea Foam in there. My cool breeze. And my teal. that much in there. There we go. So you can tell a little bit goes a long, long way. And if you're real organized with this, 
You can do background after background. Now this time I'm giving them about a half of a spritz. Didn't quite get a half in there. And then I'm gonna mix this up. Probably better off mixing it actually with the paintbrush in reality. Maybe that's what I'll do here instead of bothering. Let me rinse my brush off again. Grab another panel. And for this, I'm going to go diagonal. Just a little wash of color. And into my ocean mist, I'm going to use the brush to mix it instead of the stir stick. Why waste any? And it's still a little bit looser than regular paste. This might need a little bit more water. No, I think it's fine. And then on to my teal. I might need to go back over with the ocean mist at the top. It seems like it's really kind of very, very light, very faint. And then on the other hand, who's to say that I have to stay within these lines? I could do whatever I want with it, right? I've got a lot of blending of the colors here. Be careful, I'm doing a little bit, a little bit too much pressure and I'm washing the color off. Light pressure is best. And I'm just brushing until I get the look that suits my mood. I probably get my water out of the way so I don't tip it. Basically, do whatever fits your mood, whatever suits you. I 
I get a better definition or a better look if I go start off, start my brush off the surface and go all the way across it as opposed to starting on the edge. Anyway, simple, easy to make your own custom backgrounds. Basically, all you need to do is let this dry until, and then once it's dry, I'm sorry, all you need to do is let it dry and then you can chalk on it or add another layer of color. Go with however the creative spirit moves you. Watch for how I use these backgrounds in the next few days. Um, thank you so much for watching me this evening. I surely appreciate it. Have a wonderful life.